Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, creator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're going to talk about IFF. Often, looking at electronic stuff, uh, especially where ships and aircraft and those sorts of things are related, and even listening to the news about uh, the ongoing war in Ukraine, you hear or see uh, or read uh, IFF. Uh, what the heck does that mean? Pretty early in World War II, that long, like within two years of the U.S. Navy deploying radar, uh, they had started to deploy IFF. IFF stands for Identification, Friend, or Foe. So, I've got my radar here. It goes around and puts a bunch of blips on the screen. Well, are those blips friendly or not? Um, we're at the Air Traffic Control Station in the Combat Engagement Center for Battleship New Jersey. Uh, we can take control of friendly air assets in our operating area and direct them to go and engage incoming targets. But how do we know what we're engaging and what belongs to us? So early on in World War II, it was very much a, well, all of our ships are supposed to be in this area and all their ships are supposed to be in that area, or their, their aircraft are over there, our aircraft were vectoring in from here. Uh, so your aircraft radioing that they're in X position sort of allows you to match them up with a blip on the screen and then you can try and vector them at a blip on the screen that you haven't been told something for. Uh, and this is really, really difficult to do. So like I said, very early on, they started to come up with electronic signals that friendly assets can give off. And if you can interpret that signal, then you can tell, yeah, this is one of ours, or, or it doesn't have a signal, it's not one of ours. Now, these signals are detectable by everyone. However, if you're already running radars and sonars and other things, you're very electronically noisy. Everybody can hear you already anyway. So if you've got a uh, signal being played out, then you're no more uh, visible than you normally are with your radars running. So, uh, IFF has two key features. A transponder, that is the thing on your ship, airplane, whatever the case may be, that is putting out a signal saying who you are. And an interrogator, that is the thing that you have that is picking up that transponder information from other things and uh, determining, oh yeah, this is, this is friendly, and then letting you know. On Battleship New Jersey, in addition to the uh, little dipole antennas up on the masts near the radars that are transmitting and receiving that sort of data, uh, that's where the interrogators and the uh, transponders are, uh, the, the visible thing inside the ship when you're taking the tour are these boxes here. You'll notice we have one at every single radar console on the ship, and they sort of look like a digital clock. They're, they're giving you the readouts from those uh, transponders that we're interrogating, and we can tell from all this that, oh yeah, those are, those are friendly, we don't want to engage them, or hey, I don't recognize this number right here, I can vector in one of our aircraft to go and check it out. So IFF is one of those things that uh, essentially is created around the same time as radar. It has existed since World War II, and is still used today in much the same way as it always has been. It's just as or in many ways even more important to warfare than uh, it was when it was first invented. And one of the reasons for that, check out this tape deck back here behind me. Not only military aircraft have transponders, but also civilian aircraft. Uh, for example, civilian aircraft are flying on known routes and those often overfly military assets. You don't want to get shot down, right? So. Um, Back in the 80s, an Iranian airliner without an IFF transponder turned on or functioning properly in some way, or maybe not even installed, uh, was flying over American ships. And as it's getting closer to these uh, American warships, you uh, get concerned that it, it might be an enemy aircraft. It's coming from Iran, uh, flying directly towards us. This could be a problem. And so, based on the rules of engagement they had, because this thing wasn't transponding or responding to radio messages, they um, 
shot it down, but it turned out to be a civilian airliner with a bunch of civilians on board. So that's when these tape recorders were installed on Navy ships, so that there is evidence of the decision tree that happens, that, that uh, you can say, uh, you get a recording of the person at this air traffic control station calling the uh, aircraft in question. And you've got evidence of this person talking and saying, hey, I don't have an IFF transponder for this uh, to the tactical action officer on the other side of the room. And uh, that you can see what decisions are being made because lives are at stake and the people who sit in this room are accountable for those lives. So what's another uh, little known part of the battleship that uh, maybe something that comes up on the news nowadays, uh, like IFF being very important? Uh, let us know in the comment section down below, and we'll do a future video on it. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below to um, where you can donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.